Hello and welcome to Maths with Lloydie. Today is a special episode aimed at teachers, experienced teachers who maybe haven't used this website before, or trainee teachers who really want some help resourcing their sessions. So uh, we are at www.mathspot.com. I use this website a lot. In fact, I've I've contacted them. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see that there is a contact bit. Um, is it there? There it is, bottom right with the copyright bit. I emailed them to say, can I use your website? Um, and they were more than happy as I gave them credit. I can't give them enough credit. Um, as you can see, we've got adverts on these pages. So I'm going to warn you about that. There are some ads. Um, make sure that your uh, internet history is, is a fair representation of what you want other people to see. Um, I warn you of this because around Christmas time, if you're searching for gifts, the algorithms will maybe identify that perhaps you're searching for some jewellery and then some adverts for diamond rings will pop up. So please, please, please be careful. I think I'm looking at, what is this one? Save the penny yet? Because I've been trying to sort my mortgage out. So I'm going to see loads of financial um, adverts popping up, would you believe? So the first bit I'm going to go to is the question generator. Now, I absolutely love the question generator that is differentiated questions. We're going to start off with this one. I'll show you how some of the other ones work. Here we are, Bob Marsh at the bottom, nightmare. So differentiated questions. Um, this is amazing. I've not been searching holidays, that's for sure. All right, so we have got on here, we've got timers. So you can set a time for your pupils to do this. I love using this for starters. This is my favorite. Um, we can come all the way down and choose a topic. It's got a variety of topics. It's mainly algebra and mainly uh, number. There's quite a nice collection of ratio as well, especially since the GCSE brought into the syllabus some more skills involving ratio that aren't normally seen as much. Um, have find equation given the turning point. That's quite a fun one to do. Uh, but let's put the linear nth term on. Um, you can select how many questions you've got. If you really want to change from bronze, silver, gold, you can have green, amber, red, or red, amber, green, depending on where you put your difficulties. Um, yeah, I like to have bronze, silver, gold. And then your difficulties are really important. And you have to get used to these. You have to start learning how these work. Obviously, the higher the number, the harder the difficulty. And then hit create questions. Uh, I'm on my Surface Pro. I'm not able to sort of zoom out. I can zoom in, but not out. So make sure that you do it so that you can uh, get your pupils to see as many questions as they can. Uh, let me just put five down. So yeah, on, on the screen, happy days. Uh, I promise you it works better. It works more zoomed out, maybe on a different, um, what's the word? web browser, so I'm on Google Chrome. Uh, but yeah, this is amazing. What you can do as well on here, I haven't finished showing you what this is. You can hit on the screen and show the answer. If someone says, sir, this question already came up, you can refresh it. Not a problem. Keep changing it. Happy days. So it's an amazing tool. Just get used to it. Play with it. It's a really good thing to set the kids for if they want to do independent study as well. Um, the kids that are really motivated to do well will take your advice on board and use it. You can also print the sheet. So clicking print sheet, as you can see, I'm not sure if you'll see this uh, through the recording. It's loading a preview, loading a preview. There we go. So actually it has printed it for me as well. Not so many answers. Make sure you've noted them down, but it is very, very useful. Okay, let's go back. I always like to do a time check. How am I doing? Three minutes gone already. Okay, uh, the next one I use, I use the question generator. Very similar to differentiated questions, but you can add some groups in. So I'll have six groups containing three questions per group. Let's make the background. You can change the background, make it pretty. I'm not going to do that. But this is very, very useful for if you've perhaps done a mock exam and you've got some topics that you want to go over, you can choose as many of these as you can fit in. Geometry measure units of time, why not? Um, let me just change all of them so that we can see. A good spread of them. Algebra. Love my algebra. Expand those. Expand those double brackets. Okay, you can give them a bit more time. Hit create question. And there we go. And actually, this is fit. This has squeezed itself onto the screen quite nicely. Gives some nice options. Uh, gives the kids an opportunity to choose what they do so they can differentiate through choice. Although you would want them to choose the ones that they find a bit harder. But if you want to set a bit more time, you can set a bit more time. Um, we can click and show answers as well individually. So if you were setting like a little challenge and say, oh, yeah, pupil A, yeah, you know the answer to D2. Oh, it's 15%. Well done. Who's going to get the next one? 
and, and work with it that way. Okay, so that's two bits. How am I doing? I've got 15 minutes per video and this is five minutes to go. Right, textbook generator. One of my colleagues uh, showed me this. Um, fantastic. You can just pick some options. Do, do, do. That one, that one. Difficulty, create the exercise, and it just gives you a load of questions. And then at the bottom, the answers. So that's really simple. If you wanted to, I'd, I'd recommend using the snipping tool on this um, so that you don't have to scroll down and oh, accidentally show you the answers. You could then print it using Word, or you could create a PDF, drop it into OneNote, or you can snip it, snip tool and paste straight into OneNote as well. It works like that. So another really useful tool. I could talk about MathSpot all day. The worksheet generator, I'm not going to go into. It's very similar to the textbook generator, but it puts all the questions in little boxes. And therefore, you can set that up as a homework. Okay, the next thing I want to look at is the GCSE resources. And that's kind of all I'm going to go through today. As you can see, there's loads of other things on here. So I'll, I'll click on them. I'll show you them. Puzzles. Um, I haven't used that many of them before. That just goes to show how perhaps a oh, consecutive numbers is fun, but a teacher of like 11 years has not um, been able to have the time to explore all this. Uh, tools. Directed number patterns, frequency tables, LCM, HCF, that looks fun. Probably usable during fractions lessons, as you do. Um, starters, puzzles. Where's this? I don't think I clicked on starters. No, I didn't. Um, do now is do now on here. Quick questions was good. Used to really enjoy 10 quick questions, little program, but uh, lost lost where that was. Do now is not on here. Start generator is quite cool. Flashes up questions regularly. Let's have a look at that. I can't, can't stop myself. So, oh, I love an equation. Four by four, good, go. So it's just showing them all at the moment, which is lovely. Go back to the main menu. Um, time delay. So well, let's put a time delay of 10 seconds on. Say it's for 10 minutes and then see what happens. Here we go. So they're going to be on there for 10 seconds. And in 10 seconds time, they're going to flash off. Now that can make it a challenge. Some kids find it frustrating because the questions will disappear. You don't want a kid to be sat there not doing any work. And then they'll be like, well, the, the, the question's not up, but the one I need isn't there. So do encourage them to just do what they see. Label, set their work out. It's quite an important skill as well when it comes to their exams. Anyway, fun with that. Right. This is the bit I want. How am I doing for time? Seven minutes. I think I could talk for Britain if Britain had a talking team. So exam countdown, if you want to scare them, wouldn't recommend scaring them. They've actually added an English bit in here, which, you know, it's kind of like selling your soul to the devil, letting the old English department in. 82 days for their exam, 84 for maths. So that is coming around the corner. As you can see, um, we're in 2022 now. So looks like there's a half term in between paper one, paper two, giving the teachers some good time to get in and do some revision with the kids. Formulae. So we've got some examples as well, which we can click on. But here's some basic formulae, which can be printed. Um, GCC exam style questions. So this is quite nice for a starter as well. Uh, calculating missing values, hit new questions. So you'll always get two. Now, first thing to talk about on this drop down is it will tell you whether it's foundation, whether it's crossover, whether it's higher. It will tell you how many marks it is as well. Um, you can select from the drop downs, the tier. You can choose the topics, um, but you can also show solution on here as well. So you can show that first one, talk the pupils through it and get them to have a go at the second one or also just refresh that question. Okay, so daughter and wife have just arrived, so I've got to wrap this up. I did pause it. I've never paused halfway through a video, so we'll have a look at how that's going to come out. Actually, no, I'm just going to upload it. No, I'm just going to upload it. So um, we've got GCC recall and recap. I like the revision grid as well. The revision grid is quite nice. Um, so chain ratios. And again, we've got more questions. They are very, they're very similar, but they, you know, just find the one that you like and use it. Okay, and um, the last thing I'm going to talk about. As you can see, we've got the skills test, past papers, retrieval facts. I've got a baby screaming. Um, the grade boundaries. Now, whenever I'm tutoring, I use this a lot to show kids that actually it's not totally out of reach to get to that pass mark. So you can see that we're showing at the moment raw marks, um, nothing at all. Uh, percentage, which is probably better because I think, yep, yeah, 
Edexcel is out 240, AQA 240, and then OCR 300. Never come across Educas at all. Um, you can also look at both of them at the same time as well, and then choose your oh blimey, choose your month, choose your year. If you want to really show some sort of trends and patterns, we can just show all. Go on to the foundation and look at how that changes over time. Of course, it might be better if you use your own exam board. My school uses OCR. And then the last thing that I think is really important is that we've got the averages as well. So although we've got June and November's and you can draw upon whatever you want sort of conclusion wise with regards to sort of the trend of whether they're going up, whether they're going down, whether they're lower in November. Here we've got the average. So when we're looking at this foundation, 45% for a grade four, less than 50%. Don't let people think though that foundation is the easy option because it's not. When we look at the higher, we're looking at 19% again for that four, 30% for the five. Again, they re remind those pupils that there is no easy option. It's all about practice. It's all about making sure that you understand the questions some pupils will be solid on those early questions for foundation. Some kids will be able to access bits of higher that they can then get marks on. So it's all down to the pupil. There's no real exact rule. I just suggest lots of mock papers, lots of assessments. Speaking of that, hopefully I'll be releasing a video soon on, on maths or another one of my favorite videos. But until then, I'll see you next time. Please make sure that you're liking and subscribing the videos. You know, it helps all the algorithms, helps me to start Project, like making this a lot bigger and try to push it forward. Have yourselves a lovely day and I'll see you next time.